Butte is the backdrop of a new movie, and the Los Angeles-based director said he had a great experience making his film here in the mining city. Beautiful nature, you know, great hospitality, everyone involved. We hired a lot of, you know, locals, the foreman um, that did all of our construction, and a lot of people that worked in the movie were local to Butte, and um, it was just a great community and a great place to film. Last Survivors was filmed in and around Butte in December of 2020, and it stars Stephen Moyer and Alicia Silverstone. These actors were out there in the cold with us, you know, battling the elements, and they just really wanted to make a good film, and, and I think that's what we did. Some of the indoor scenes were shot in sets built inside the Butte Civic Center, and some out in the forests around Butte. The production crew included many locals. They were always, you know, grinning at us as we were shivering in the corner, which, uh, which I appreciated. An unexpected snowfall on the final day of shooting enhanced the film. It's an intense scene, you know, the fathers and the son, there's a confrontation and there's snow blowing all around them and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I couldn't have, thank you Mother Nature, I could not have planned this better. You know, one of the offshoots that can come from this, because the movie's going to say, filmed in Butte, Montana, on, you know, public and private lands, that it's going to say to people, hey, I've got to go visit this place. Much of the film was shot in remote areas just outside of town and in town, including the historic Stevens Building at Park in Montana. It just shows the diversity of locations that can be found in the Butte area. Flying here yesterday and just seeing, oh, we filmed there, I stayed there, we did all this stuff here. It was just, it was beautiful, you know, it made me really emotional and it's beautiful to be back here in Butte. Um, it feels like a really great bookend for what was a really special movie. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.